Welcome to the latest Z Code System video here on YouTube. It's great to have you back here with Z Code System as we start something new, a new feature at Z Code System, and, is, and that is Z Code System Sports News, with our topic today being the return of sports. Soccer and ice hockey are on the way back. So if you have been uh, checking the news out, and I'm sure you have, as I have, every day checking the news to see just when my favorite sports are on the way back, you will know that there are some big happenings going on right now in the world of sports uh, amid the COVID-19 pandemic. And we've all been wondering when sports would be back. And we do have some answers now with a few select sports and sports leagues uh, over the next couple of weeks. So let's get right down to it, guys. But of course, remember, you can always go over to the Z Code System blog, read up on all of the information that we have there. And when all the sports are going on, you can get the best picks and predictions from our expert writers, as well as join up to Z Code System and get all the tools that help you win when you invest in sports betting. So, guys, let's get on to this Z Code System sports news for this week. And the big news to start out with is the return of K League soccer. This is official and it will happen on Friday, May 8th when John Book take on Suwon Samsung Blue Wings. Now, this is a huge deal because the season in Korea has been postponed since February 29th. It was not able to kick off, and now the league will finally officially kick off. Korea has done a fantastic job with uh, working with, or I guess you could say uh, slowing, stopping the spread of the coronavirus there. They have been on top of things compared to some other countries, and that has led to the K-League returning for May 8th. Now, the K-League is one of Asia's leading soccer leagues, along with Japan's J-League and China's CSL or, or Super League. Both of those leagues are still suspended, and the K-League right now will be the leading light, and I'm guessing the J-League and the Super League will both be looking towards Korea to get an idea of how they can approach the rest of their season. One of the things about um, those other two leagues, the J-League, could start back up very soon and be back underway, giving fans the chance to have more soccer to watch and to bet on. The Chinese Super League is still up in the air, and it could possibly not happen this year. Things are still uh, a bit, uh, as I said, up in the air, and there's no solid information on how that will pan out at the moment. Uh, now, the K-League, as I said before, is one of the leading soccer leagues in Asia, and it is going to be one of two pro soccer leagues, or two big, I guess you could say, pro soccer leagues right now that are going to be operating. The Belarus Premier League is going on in Europe, uh, and that has attracted a lot of punters and um, uh, eyes, you could say, to watch those games, because the world right now is starved for sports, whether you're betting on it or you want to watch the games. All K-League games are going to be behind closed doors, so there will be no fans um, there. But the good news is, uh, depending on what country you're in, or which country you're in, you may get to watch these games live on TV. Uh, according to reports out of Korea, since the league officially announced its, uh, its return, the broadcasting rights have been out of, the, out of this world for the league with 10 different uh, regions around the globe signing contracts to air the games live, which is fantastic uh, for the K-League and hopefully for them we'll make up some of that money that the teams are losing uh, on not being able to uh, have fans in the stadium. So that's some big news there. Um, also, this is good news for other sports in South Korea. Uh, Korea has one of the top baseball leagues in the world, the Korean Baseball Organization, the KBO. And the hope is that not long after the K-League soccer season gets up and running, the KBO will be able to begin their league season. So uh, the KBO is seen uh, as just below Japan as the third best baseball league in the world. So 
baseball fans and baseball betters will have that uh, hopefully to look forward to. Now, on to a few other things. And as you can see there, we have a setback with the Bundesliga in Germany. They were hoping to also get up and running on the weekend of May 8th and 9th. Um, however, the restrictions in Germany have been eased on the coronavirus and suddenly the cases have jumped up a bit. So that is leading the country to put the brakes on the Bundesliga's return. Fans have not been happy anyway about the proposed return of the Bundesliga. And so there's a lot of friction going on there. Not so in England, where the Premier League could come back in June and players will, will be resuming training uh, in May. In the early May, I believe uh, Arsenal will be uh, getting back to things next week. The government in the UK has backed the Premier League's return uh, for various reasons, economic as well as moral uh, reasons to get the, or morale reasons, I should say, getting the public uh, back up with their morale and, uh, you know, as these restrictions are continuing on. Next week will be the seventh week in the UK that the restrictions have been in place. Um, there are going to be some slight easing of restrictions, but overall, I believe the UK is going to be staying the course uh, into the coming weeks. So having the Premier League back behind closed doors, playing in empty stadiums, uh, it may be a very strange situation for fans to watch on TV, but overall, having that sports back will be massive for everyone. Now, I already talked about the Chinese Super League, possibly not going to come back this year. Um, another league I was looking at just a few minutes ago, the Thai uh, the Thailand League, uh, the Thai League, I believe is what it's called. They are hoping for a return in the summer. Um, initially, word was they would be back in May, but it looks like due to some circumstances at the moment, uh, over the last couple of weeks, they're going to push that back into the summertime. Okay, so that is some great news about soccer that we have. Now, of course, when the K-League returns, you'll be able to go over to Z Code system, and we'll definitely have some blogs up there with some picks and predictions. And you can also use our tools to get great picks on those games when they happen. So I'm looking forward to that. Now, the NHL, this is huge news uh, being reported on today as I talk to you April the 30th. Now, the NHL is potentially returning in May. And if the NHL returns in May... Well, guess what? That could mean that Major League Baseball, the NBA, those could come right behind it. Now, we'll have to see about those uh, two sports coming back. But the NHL has put some ideas in place, according to uh, reports that I saw today. And the reports quoted memos that were sent out by the NHL's head office. So the NHL will look a wee bit different, though, to fans when it comes back. Of course, we're in crazy times right now. So we're going to have a bit of a tweak with the way things are going to end up. And this is going to uh, have to do with the way the season will uh, will play out. The 2019-20 season will play out. That is, the NHL, if they return in May, uh, May 15 was the date I saw being kicked around. And if they return at that point, uh, players will be able to come back into small groups and do small group activity. That was something that was going on last week and the week before in Germany in the Bundesliga with teams having players train with two or three at a time to uh, reduce the contact uh, individuals would have with each other. So the NHL could employ this situation as well. The NHL would then have teams go through a three-week training camp uh, prior to resuming the season and the campaign with the eyes on a full return to finish out the regular season in June and July. Now, most of the teams in the NHL right now have around 12 or so games left to go in the season. So we'll have to see, you know, everything is dependent on the coronavirus. So we'll have to see how that pans out. Now, one of the big things that was kicked around there, as you see at the very top there, my Top point there, a 24-team playoff format is being uh, talked about right now with the top six teams from each division meeting in one city. Now, one city, yes, this is where the NHL would have a four-city hub across the U.S. and Canada in which teams will meet in these hubs to play games uh, and meet each other. So 
to reduce travel and the uh, chances of contact with other people, which, you know, this could be a way to get through the season. And it's also an idea that Major League Baseball has kicked around, sending teams to Arizona to play down there at a few select uh, uh, preseason stadiums, as well as the, the Arizona Diamondbacks Stadium. So sending some teams down there to play and to get the season up and running and later on hopefully moving back to their respective cities. Now, this is an idea, again, that's being kicked around and it would allow the, with this format, a best of three series between the number one and number two seeds in each divisions simply to decide the division winner. Uh, And then the number threes will meet the sixes and the fours and the fives. And so that's how it would go. Now, one of the things I saw uh, that would be um, a criticism of this format would be that perhaps weaker teams or teams from weaker divisions may have a better chance of going on to win the Stanley Cup. So, again, we'll just have to see how this plays out. But the good news is that hopefully the NHL is on its way back. And as you can see there, no fans would be in attendance for any of these games, which at the moment, really, when you look at all the sports that are going on, we don't know when any fans will be able to return to stadiums uh, to watch games live. Uh, I believe in Germany it was they were saying how games, uh, for football at least, for soccer, it would be January 2021 before fans should or could be allowed back into stadiums. And I know that there have been some NBA uh, players, I believe LeBron James, if that's the that may have been the person I'm thinking of, uh, saying that he did not want to play in empty arenas and he would rather sit out uh, instead of playing without fans. So we'll just have to see how that goes. Obviously, the uh, finances of uh, playing in front of empty seats uh, is a big hit. But again, with so many games that could be on TV and the chance for sports stars, people to watch the games, it could be a huge boon for each sports league. Now, um, if you see there, the Stanley Cup finals could be held in September with them ending at the end of that month. And then the NHL postponing the beginning of the regular season for next year uh, to December 2020, uh, which is just a a two-month delay. And basically, teams would just have a few weeks off and then continue on playing into the next season. Again, extraordinary times call for extraordinary measures. And as you can see here, the NHL is coming up with a contingency plan here. Now, again, as I said earlier, everything is contingent on the coronavirus and how it spreads or slows or stops. And depending on the country that uh, these sports take place in. So we'll just have to see how that goes. But of course, you can stay up to date on various news and sports with Z Code System. And hopefully next week, we'll be back with another sports news segment that's going to have more very good news for all of you guys. And hopefully, we'll have some more leagues coming back. Now, you can go over to Z Code System, get the latest picks and predictions on various sports. Uh, you can get picks and predictions right now on the esports that we have going on around the world. And you want to get in on that. We've got some great videos here on YouTube for you to also check out and get up to date on esports, as well as horse racing, which is also going on in the US as well as in Australia. Guys, we will see you next week with our next news segment. And also, we'll keep you updated on the K-League when it comes out or when it begins on May 8th. And we'll have some picks and predictions for you to check out and to get ready to wager on some high-profile soccer. We'll see you soon, guys. Good luck this week.